Hey guys, so I tried to find an accurate women's clothing conversion chart online, but I found different ones with different information. So when I went to the Abaya shops to shop in person, I did ask the woman working for a size 4 or 5X what the best size would be, and uh, I was directed to try on size 58 or 60, just for your information purposes. Hey guys, hope you're doing well. I found a place where I got a really good deal on Abaya and Hijab Match together, like it comes together as one set. I'm holding my microphone because it really bothers me being on my clothes and the hijab might rustle with it. So so I'm just going to show you my entire Abaya collection with like maybe a different hijab. I don't know. We'll see how tired I get. I actually really hate trying on clothes, which is why I don't do a lot of clothing hauls. And really, I don't really buy that many clothes either. I don't know. So I'm going to start with the new ones. The other ones I try on are going to be repeats, but just to show you my entire collection. So these two new ones come with the hijab and they were delivered like the next day and it was like so affordable and they're really high quality. So I'm actually really, really, really impressed with that. So I'll show you up close first, a little bit of the detail, and then I'll show you further back to show you like a full picture. So this is the matching hijab that comes with it. It's the same color as the um, abaya black and like a turquoisey grayish color i don't know what color that would be but as you can see here it has some nice detail like bejeweled detail on it and the sleeves as well have a really nice detail on them as you can see all right all right so this is the whole abaya number one it's size 58. All of the Abayas Abaya are in size 58 or 60, which is pretty much the biggest size here. So as you can see, it goes right down to my feet and covers my feet pretty much. So I'm completely covered, which is what I like for ultimate modesty. And we are going to be traveling as well. So I would like a nice couple of really more fancy Abayas. And underneath the Abayas, just so you know, I always wear a slip. It's like a full head to toe dress that covers everything as well for that extra layer of protection so this is abaya number one all right guys so this is the second new abaya by the way these were a birthday gift because my birthday's in a couple days they were a birthday gift from my husband salah in addition to the um, iphone 14 pro max that i'm filming on right now so i hope the quality is really good for you guys um abaya number two same price as the other one and it comes with the matching hijab as well. It's just a plain black hijab. And there's so many different styles you can do with hijabs, but I'm just doing a very simple one just for this video's sake to save some time. So I really love the detail on this. The colors are really, really nice. And I have a lot of makeup looks that I can do to match this color. So it's more of a fancy, more colorful abaya. I'm used to just wearing black or white, black and white mix. So I really like the splash of color on these. The sleeves are also not baggy. Usually my abayas have like baggy sleeves, which makes it hard to like eat and cook because they're always dragging in the food. But this is like pretty tailored, I like it. And as you can see, it has a nice floral design. I really, really love it. All right, now from far away. All right, so as you can see, this one is also pretty long. It is size 58. So as you can see, it's uh, pretty roomy. And this is what it looks like from afar. So as you can see down here, it pretty much covers my feet as well. And that's because it's, uh, you know, the size, they assume that if you're a size, bigger size, the taller you are as well. And in my case, I'm only 155 centimeters, so it's long on me, but I could take it in for, uh, to get it hemmed if I wanted to. But when I have shoes on, it's not too bad. So, this is Abaya number two. All right guys, this is Abaya number three. This is one I purchased before I went back to Canada. The first time I came to Kuwait, this is one I got, and this is a size 60. It just depends on how the Abaya is made and the fabric they use. And as you can see, this is one of the styles that have the loose sleeve, which I don't prefer. I prefer a tailored sleeve. Which is why I like Jill Bob's, they have the tailored, like the tapered sleeve, sorry, no tailored, tapered sleeve. 
So this is just a black and white one, so I'm wearing a white hijab, very basic with it. And I'll show you from afar. So this one is not as long, but it does still cover my feet and my shoes. And this is what it looks like full body. So this one is more of a casual, kind of everyday kind of a buyer to go out to do groceries, to go to the beach, kind of things like that. So something not as fancy as the other two that you saw. I needed some fancy ones in my collection, so that's why I got those two fancier ones. So number three. All right guys, here is another buyer that we did shop for previously. And this is another black and white one. This would also go really nice with a white hijab, but I couldn't find my white under cap, so I'm gonna wear a black one, which also goes with it. By the way, if you wanna see some Abaya shopping videos, you can check them out on our couples channel, Salak and Chantal. That's always linked in the description below as well, as well as you can follow me on TikTok and other social media in the description. So this one is actually a size 60. So this again has not as baggy sleeves, but what I like about this one is that it has pockets. Pretty deep pockets you can put a lot of things inside I can put my phone and the router in each pocket when you go to the beach or something what I don't like about this abaya is how long it is for a size 60 this is the longest abaya I own and I'll show you down below as you can see it's really long and actually in that one video where I actually tripped I tripped on my abaya and fell on the stair because yeah you can easily fall but I do like the style. I do like that it's the only one I have that has pockets. So. So we're coming to a near end here. This is one that I don't really wear often because it is kind of snug, but I just wanted to show you the style of an open abaya. So this is the open abaya. There is a clasp under this hijab that you can close it. I actually can't close it. Um, it just isn't made the same way as flowy and as roomy as the other abayas that I have. So I'm just showing you and maybe someday inshallah when I lose some weight, I'll be able to wear it. But until then, I'm just going to show you here and it's uh, open style. So as you can see, like that. And I'm just wearing a long style of hijab to cover myself for the open gaps. So this is the open style abaya, basically. All right guys, so this is one that you've seen many times as well, but I really like it because it's so casual and it's just plain black and I really like plain black. So I also am just wearing my undercap just to show you what I wear underneath my chiffon or jersey hijabs. Um, this is the under cap and this is how long it is. So I tuck it usually into my underdress and that way I can wear more sheer colored uh, chiffon hijabs for example without worrying about showing my neck or hair. Also I like that if I get too hot I can just take off the other layer of hijab and it kind of cools me off just wearing the under cap. So this one doesn't have pockets. I forgot to check the size. I'll write it here somewhere. But this is just a basic day-to-day Abaya, nothing fancy or anything like that, very casual. So I really like this one. <laughs> All right, now for the last one. All right guys, this is the last and certainly not least, my last abaya I'm gonna show you in my collection today. So it's a mix between casual and a little more than casual, like a little fancy. Um, it has the nice fringe detail and it's a nice bi-color with neutral tones and I have a matching hijab here more casual breathable hijab not chiffon anything fancy anything like that and it's a little less flowy than the other ones I'll show you from the back and I usually wear this one out just if I'm sick of the black and white colors that I have. So before those other two first ones I showed you, the new ones, I didn't have any color in my wardrobe, like I said, so it's gonna be a, a nice addition with some color because this was, as far as color goes, this was it for me, so. I can also show you guys hijab tutorials 
uh, if you're interested in the future just to show you how I do different styles. I've had to learn myself through Instagram tutorials, they're really great. Social media can be a really good learning tool. So that's it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing my abaya and hijab collection. I do have a few other hijabs but I'll show you those at a later date. This is my abaya collection for now. Abayas are, I find, more comfortable and loose fitting for someone my size here in Kuwait. I find casual wear like jeans and shirts and things like that are made more on the smaller side and they actually um, usually only go up to like 2x in the stores. So even online I'm having trouble finding like 4 or 5x. So um, you know I am going to be going to a gym but in the meantime I need to be, still be stylish you know so and comfortable <laughs> and modest. So guys I hope you enjoyed this video and feel free to leave me your comments and thanks again for watching. Bye guys.